Welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today we're using some stock plugins to enhance our drums through sample replacement. So this project I'm working on has some live recorded drums and there are some issues, lots of like cymbal spill and stuff like that. Uh, you can hear this pretty much on all the drum tracks. What I have here is pr sort of pre-processed, really heavily gated kind of uh, drums. So here's one of the toms and I'll just solo this. And you can hear that there's tons of cymbal spill and it's gonna be a little bit hard to mix that. So using some stock plugins and some of the samples that they provided with the project, we can make it sound like this. Here's a tom fill with all the toms without these uh, samples replaced. Pretty messy. And we'll turn on the plugins. Much cleaner. And so we're not getting anything that we don't want in the mix. I've gone ahead and done that for the, the toms and I'm just using samples that were recorded after the session um, same drum kit, same mics, everything. Uh, so no cheating there or anything like that. We've got the real drum samples. So I'm gonna set this up to do this on the kick because the kick is kind of set up in a weird way and I'll show you this. So whoever prepared this session had decided that uh, they would use this kind of pre-processed kick for the main kick sound and then uh, layer up the kick in and out in just this one section where this is the real kick. Um, I mean, this is a real kick here, but it's kind of pre-processed. You can kind of barely hear that there's a, a snare um, in there. So it's a pretty clean edited track, but it's, it's not like a real drum kit, uh, it, but it, it's going to work great for triggering. Here's the real kick in and out tracks uh, in just that one section. So you can hear it's it's not uh, the greatest sound or anything like that, um, but what we're actually gonna do, delete that. So I'm just gonna copy this, make sure that my cursor is right where I want it. I can hit paste on this one and paste on this one. So now there's three kicks that are the same, but this track um, 19 kick in is going to be replaced by this kick hit on this sample area here. And then kick 20 out is going to be this hit here. So there are great uh, third party plugins for doing this kind of thing. Uh, I really like Slate's trigger for this, but I'm going to use some stock plugins and we're going to look in the JS folder. And so we're gonna search for, uh, I think if we search for drum, this will come up. Yeah, audio to MIDI drum trigger. And this is one of the stock plugins. Doesn't look like much, but this has everything we need. And actually, um, I think just these default settings are going to work really well because this is already kind of pre-processed, cleaned up. Um, it's already gated. They've removed most of the bleed from this kick track. It's, it's really a, a trigger track. And I think that's gonna work really well for this. But if your track is not kind of prepared, um, hard edited like this one is, uh, there's open and close threshold, re-trigger intervals. You can mix in the original signal and you can choose a MIDI channel and note. So we got that put on there. And we're also going to put in the Resamplematic 5000. Find that kick sample. Solo this track. And just going to edit this. So let's say right there is where we want that to start and anywhere after is fine for the ending. I want this next track to also be aligned here. So I'm gonna make sure that that edit is at the same place so that these aren't out of time. There. So I've got this, this section of the kick selected. I'll just trim that out there so it's a little more obvious what part we're using. I'm gonna select it and then in Resample Matic 5000, I'm gonna click this button, import from arrange. And so that brings in the entire original audio file. And if we use the scroll wheel to zoom in, 
can see how much of it is actually being used. Because I've given myself some space here on the right, it's given me that same kind of amount of space on the right of the sample, the tail of the sample. But you can drag and adjust this as needed. Zoom in even closer if you want. Um, I'm actually going to adjust the attack time, bring that down to zero. And um, to make this velocity sensitive, we have to adjust the minimum volume control. Uh, but let's, let, let's actually hear that. Uh, I'm gonna mute this uh, kick out and we'll see if this triggers pretty well with uh, that kick trigger track. So right now it's triggering every sample at the same volume and we can actually adjust this. Let's just bring this down to like, I don't know, minus 15. And I think that will do for that. And we'll just repeat that process for the next track. Uh, I'll actually copy over those plugins. So audio to MIDI drum trigger and the kick in uh, the uh, resample Matic 5000. We just need to choose that other sample. So that's right here. Select it, import from a range. Uh, because I copied that over, it still has the minimum, uh, the minimum volume and the attack turned down. And so here's the two kick drums now. And I can't really do a A-B comparison because this this didn't even have a kick drum in this section originally. So here's my drum mix now. And my mix before didn't have any of these drums. It sounds like the same drum kit because we're using samples from the kit, the same kit. It just doesn't have that bleed. Uh, hopefully it doesn't have any missed triggers. It doesn't seem like it would because they've already edited this quite tightly. But now I have the option of using uh, any of the kick mics and any of the parts of the song that I want. So these tracks come from the Reaper mixing contest this month. And if you want to participate, there's going to be a link in the description below. It's a pretty cool song with over 50 tracks, so it's a bit of a mixing challenge, um, but it is uh, well produced and, uh, and should be a lot of fun for you. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Thank you.